Hello, my name's teacher David Adam and you're watching another episode of Fresh Off The Press English. Today we're looking at cakes. This news comes from Russia today. It's about a bakery in India that is making some COVID-19 cakes. Let's look at the headline. We shall digest Corona. Indian bakery turns heads and stomachs with COVID-19 themed sweets. Digest. Digest. If we digest something, it means we eat it and then we turn it into food in our stomach. We digest it. It goes into our stomach and we use it in our bodies. Digest. Basically meaning to eat something, basically. Digest. Turns heads. Turns heads. This phrase turns heads means it gets people's attention, makes people look at it. Okay, these cakes make people go, ah, huh? make people turn their heads, make people pay attention to the shop. Turns heads. Themed. Themed. This word themed means it's almost like the topic or the subject of something. So here, the theme of the sweets is the coronavirus. The topic, the subject, is the coronavirus. The theme of the cakes. Themed. As the COVID-19 pandemic grips the globe, one bakery in Calcutta has taken merchandising to a new level, passing out virus-themed confectionery. Grips. Grips. Now this word grip literally means to hold something tightly the virus is holding the world tightly. We cannot leave our homes, businesses and shops have closed. We are being held by the virus. The virus grips us. Merchandising. 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 Now here we're talking basically about trying to sell things. How we sell something is merchandising. How we want to sell the thing. So here they're trying to sell the cakes using the coronavirus. This is their merchandising idea. A bit like advertising, if you know this word. Merchandising similar to advertising, how they are going to sell their cakes. Confectionery. 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 This word confectionery is a word we can use to describe normally sweet foods like cakes, sweets, cookies, biscuits. These are all confectionery. The pathogenic pastries could be seen on offer at Hindustan's Sweets, a small shop in Calcutta's Jadavpur district. Pastries. Pastries. Pastries, again, it's a kind of cake. A pastry is made from flour and butter. It's a kind of cake that we can eat. A pastry. Pastries. 
district. District. This word district means the area where something happens. Usually with a city or a town, we can cut the town into different districts. Each district has its own name. It's a way of separating different parts of a town or a city or a village. We can separate them into districts, it means different areas. With only some 5,300 confirmed cases of COVID-19, India appears to have escaped the fate of the US and some European nations, which have seen in excess of 100,000 infections. Fate. 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 Fate is a word we use to give the idea that something is going to happen. Usually, it's our, almost like destiny. Something is going to happen to you. It's already decided. It's your fate. Okay, now we can talk about the US and European countries. Their fate has been, what's happened to them is we've seen lots of infections and many deaths. It's their fate. And now here we're saying India may have escaped the same fate. India is not having the same number of infections as the US or European countries. They don't have the same fate. Excess. Excess. This word excess means more than. In this sentence, we're saying in excess of 100,000. It means more than. 100,000. In excess. More than. Let's look at the words from today's lesson. Digest. Digest. Turn heads. Turn heads. Fiend. Themed. Grips. Grips. Merchandising. Merchandising. Confectionery. Confectionery. Pastries. Pastries. District. District. Fate. Fate. Excess. Excess. Write down these words and remember them. These are useful words when we're still talking about the coronavirus, talking about how it affects businesses and how the future might change our fate and how different areas, different districts can be affected differently. Uh, I'm not, I don't want to eat one of these cakes. I don't think I would like to eat one of these cakes. In the story, I think they are being given away for free, but yes, I would not want to make a joke out of this virus and how it's affecting people's lives. I don't know about you. Would you eat one of these cakes? Interesting news from India. I think it's going to be a, an interesting thing to watch how India is affected by the coronavirus. The rest of us in the world almost seems like we're almost getting through it now. It's been about two, three weeks now of lockdown in the UK and I'm not as worried anymore. I don't know if that's a problem, if it's something we should worry about. It's easy to forget the, the danger, I suppose. The longer we stay inside, 
life becomes more and more boring and we decide to take more risks and I hope that uh, well obviously I hope we can get outside soon but I hope we don't get out too soon that it has a negative effect and continues this virus for longer. Thank you for watching this episode of Fresh Off The Press English. As always, let me know what you think of the story. If you're from India, let me know if you've heard about it. Subscribe, like, and as always, don't be bored, be busy. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.